Hey, welcome to That Guy Talks, and on this episode, we are going to be talking Space Jam, the new legacy, the new legacy, Space Jam, a new legacy, the new legacy, Space Jam 2, starring LeBron James and Don Cheadle, a god-awful performance, but uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. This won't be a long video. It's easier for me, I notice, when something really sucks or is disappointing, it's relatively, like, it doesn't take much. You know, I probably, maybe that's because I'm against negativity and I, w I just want to get it out uh, and I don't want to spend too much time on it because it is negative, whereas the positive stuff I want to go on and on and keep talking about. So possibly that's a little something to get into. All right, I'm not going to dissect that much further. Let's just get into it. So, all right, this is like a follow-up, a sequel. I don't really know if it's even a sequel. It's, just, it's like, you know, it's Ode to LeBron James version. You know, uh, Space Jam, the original Space Jam, Michael Jordan and the Looney Tunes is a classic movie animation combination kind of thing from back in the day, which we all seem to love. Even if you think about it, it wasn't the greatest movie. It's not something, and I just talked about this the other day with somebody. And uh, my, a friend of mine didn't even like Space Jam. He thought it was kind of cheesy. And um, I said, well, it still has a place. It's kind of like a classic. It's just that movie. And at the time, um, I enjoyed it. And that was back when DVDs were still relatively new and the studios hadn't all signed on. And that was one of the movies that you had to purchase. And I bought it and owned it and must have watched it God knows how many times. So that said, and let me just preface everything with the fact that, yes, I'm a Michael Jordan fan. Michael Jordan's the GOAT. Was never a big LeBron James, but through the year, uh, LeBron James fan, but through the years, I have totally grown to respect the man. So if you ask me, like, and I think it's impossible to have this conversation without discussing the LeBron versus Michael kind of thing. It's kind of, it's, it, they both did a movie called Space Jam, uh, and they're supposed to be the goats, the kings of, well, self anointed king for LeBron. Um, so it's impossible not to talk about that. So I'm just going to put that up front. I am highly like I respect LeBron James there's no it's impossible not to I'd be an ass if I would try to act like he was not like the man he is the man no question but I just don't think he's ever going to be my he's not Michael okay so with that out of the way I did go into the movie with expectation of okay I'm, I'm gonna be open to this I hope it's good um it just from the beginning it seemed to be a bit of like, where is this going? What's going to happen? And then the family thing and then the acting thing. I thought there was too much acting. I, I actually feel like Michael, when he did the movie, knew he was, you know, a basketball player doing a movie and it was kind of cute for him. Like it was you know almost like him playing baseball, right? It was like Michael's doing a movie with the Looney Tunes. It's kind of fun. It's kind of a joke. He's not going to have to do much acting. He'll have some lines, you know, it'll be fun. And that's really all it was going to be. I feel like LeBron took on this role believing it was like he was going to like act like it, like he went and studied for this or something and took classes or something, you know, connected with, you know, Denzel for a while and studied his craft. Like, I think he took it too serious. And I feel like, you know, and I don't know if he had more lines and it was more acting for LeBron versus the original Space Jam. I'm trying to think. I got to look that up. I got to figure out who actually had more screen time and more acting in their Space Jam movie, uh, because I feel it feels like LeBron had most of the time. Um, this was just a mess as far as like the anti. So Don Cheadle, who I love as an actor, but terrible in I just his comedy doesn't work. The only movie Don Cheadle is exceptionally funny in, and he's not trying to be, is when he plays Buck Swope in P.T. Anderson's Boogie Nights, which I mentioned, I've probably mentioned that twice on this channel, talking about other movies and talking about Don Cheadle. Uh, and I'm probably going to do a Boogie Nights review at some point, but he's great in that movie. In this movie, he's playing this maniacal algorithm, Al, Al G, whatever the hell he is, in this computer like world. Uh, and he's the guy, he's got this plan he's devising, and he gets LeBron James' son in there, and the son and the father are pulled in, and it's something. I couldn't really explain the plot to you. I don't even know what Algy, what Don Cheadle really wanted. He wanted to get out, he wanted the more notoriety, he wanted to escape the Matrix. I don't even know. I couldn't tell you because it was so sort of messy, right? Then the whole idea of getting a team together and, and the way this was going to work and LeBron was looking for these ones and Bugs Bunny was doing this and they, they created a team and then the entire movie is nothing more than advertisements for all the other Warner Brothers franchises and different properties and logos and, and other films and other TV shows and properties. The whole thing just mashed together in one huge Warner Brothers HBO Max thing 
commercial thing that didn't even have your mind on basketball or really like some sort of competition, some sort of thing where you're like, okay, they're going to play them. They're going to play them. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see if Don Cheadle's people win. We're going to see how this works. It just didn't work that way. It was a sloppy mess. I found myself falling asleep a couple of times. I watched this with my eight-year-old son and even he was just like, this is terrible. And he's eight and I'm sitting there thinking, okay, am I the older guy the father watching this movie and i'm referencing you know i'm thinking in the back of my mind about the original space jam so maybe i'm not being fair maybe it actually is a good movie let's see what he thinks what do you think son he looked at me like just please let it end and i was like let it end it seemed really long i fell asleep just a bit and i fell asleep i i was i found myself nodding because i was so totally disinterested in everything going on on screen again don Cheadle, just No, it just didn't work. All right. That whole character did not work. We didn't have enough defined, like, what does this guy want to do? That didn't work. Um, All the the Warner Brothers stuff being put together looked just, it looked, it didn't look great. Um, And it was truly just a a mix, a a mashup of whatever. Just didn't work. Just didn't work. I'm sorry. Um, What else? Can I even say about it? Just again, it was it was messy. It was long, messy. The, I, I was not interested in the, in the game. I was not interested in the characters. It, it just didn't work for me on a lot of levels. Um, I thought that even the extras in this movie were like bad actors. They like it just it just all the extras called a te- like you were you could tell they were extras and you could see it and they were bad. They weren't even good. They were like background characters were bad every single one of it just like it was just so uh anyway i wanted to like it again going back to the lebron versus michael thing hard not to bring up that comparison but that's not what this is about this is not because i think michael well because michael is the goat and i have an issue with, with it's got nothing to do with that i wanted this to 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 win i wanted it to be decent i wanted my eight-year-old to be like okay i like that dad wasn't the case so if you've not seen it I'm doing this review on Saturday. It premiered on Friday, okay? Uh, if you've not seen it yet, you haven't committed to it yet, and you know, you're know you watching this on Sunday, and you're thinking about watching it, go ahead and watch it. I won't say don't watch it, all right? Certain things you're just going to watch just for the hell of it anyway. Get it out of the way. It's a new movie. It's for the kids. You got kids. You're going to watch this movie. What I can tell you, if those of you who don't have kids and you're just interested in watching this, don't take your time. Like You, won't, you probably have... 20 other things in your Netflix queue or whatever it is, Hulu, whatever you watch, okay, Disney, that you could watch before you actually dedicate the time to watch this. You won't feel like you miss it. In fact, you can watch this five years from now and it won't make a difference. But if you got kids, go ahead and watch it. They'll probably get something entertaining out of it. If they're like two years old or three years old, they might get something out of it, but I don't know. Anyway, if you saw Space Jam, a new legacy, the new legacy, whatever it is, LeBron James thing, uh, and you liked it, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Let me know if you think I'm off on my thing. As usual, I like your, your, your honesty and your comments and such. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the like, the thumbs up button. I appreciate that. And, and if you're new to this channel and you found your way here magically and you like listening to me talk about movies and streaming stuff and all that good stuff, and that's also part of your life, and you want to hear more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you know when I put up new content and you do not miss it. I truly appreciate having you here. Building a channel, I'm telling you, it gets better. It gets better, and it gets better, and it gets better. So stay with me. All right, until, uh, what? (laughs) Until next time, peace, love, power, and prosperity to you all. And I will see you on the next This Guy Talks Movies. That guy, this guy, that guy talks movies. (laughs) Peace.